Hello everyone and welcome to my very first PS4 Mod Spotlight for Fallout 4. Everyone who's ever built anything in any settlement in Fallout 4 knows the frustrations and limitations imposed upon us in the vanilla game. Well, now that mods are finally here, we don't have to put up with those limitations anymore. Today I will be showing you three of my top settlement mods so far. These are shown in no particular order because I honestly can't decide which is my favorite. They're all great. As always, you can find the links in the description below. The first mod for your viewing pleasure is called Scrap Skeletons, Ghouls, Plants, and More by Elric. This mod does just what its name implies. You can basically scrap most of the non-scrappable items in the game. From debris and rubble on the ground, bushes and piles of leaves, to the hedges in Sanctuary even. It never made sense that you can haul hundreds of pounds of scrap all the way across the Commonwealth and build an entire city with it, but you couldn't be bothered to pick up a broom and sweep the leaves out of your own house. Well, now you can. The sanctuary and any other settlement can finally look improved, even if you don't build any new buildings there. That's not all this mod does. Sick and tired of those dead things cluttering up your new home? Well, it's always been possible to move skeletons out of the way by hand, but it was also quite time consuming. Now you can just scrap them in seconds and go on with your day. Also, the disgusting dead ghouls at Sunshine Tidings Co-op and the Croup Manor can be gone for good. I've never built at either of these settlements because of the dead ghouls. I'm looking forward to finally being able to do something there. I consider this one one of my essential mods for settlement building, and it's never leaving my load order. The next mod in the lineup today is called Unlocked Settlement Objects by Andre WCX. This mod basically makes available most of the in-game objects that weren't previously available to build in settlements. Items like vehicles, furniture, containers, decorations, and tons and tons of miscellaneous clutter. The amount of items added is crazy, considering that every single thing is a pre-existing asset and has been used somewhere in the game at some point. There are dozens of items for nearly every category you could think of, including, but definitely not limited to, a lot of new furniture, kitchen appliances, as well as full kitchen sets, new and old. Everything you've ever need that you would ever need for a workshop. All kinds of miscellaneous clutter for the home. Pretty much every vehicle in the game, even pre-war models. There are even some buildings, such as pre-war houses and monuments. However, as of the making of this video, you cannot build furniture inside most of these buildings. But I believe the mod author is trying to get that fixed. Being able to build these items also means that you can scrap existing items that were already in the settlement when you arrived. For instance, you can build a couple of the green cabins, like at Sunshine Titans Co-op, and so you can now also scrap some of those cabins that were already there. Theoretically, since the Bunker Hill Monument is now a buildable item with this mod, you could scrap the actual monument at Bunker Hill. I wouldn't advise this, however, since you won't be able to scrap all the items that are attached to it, and they will be left floating in the air. Also, scrapping large items, such as buildings, can mess with the game's LODs, and so you may start to experience some pretty big problems. So I firmly suggest leaving large original items intact. There are even additional plugins for this mod that add items for each of the DLCs. As of the making of this video, not all the DLCs are supported yet, but they are in the works. So far, there are a few items from Automatron and a bunch of stuff from Far Harbor and Nuka World, including some retextures of the walls and floors in the barn tab. Now you've got unpainted, green, white, blue, and brick. However, the brick looks a little funny on the back, since the studs are also brick. But if you want to build a brick building, I suggest using the retextured concrete walls from the Wasteland Workshop plugin, which includes brick and several different colors of stone and marble. They look great and will provide some much needed variety in any settlement. 
Also, the regular wood shack tab now has a few new additions, including a couple new door pieces and some half-sized walls, which will be used a lot by me because they are long overdue. I have to tell you, this mod opens up all kinds of new ideas for future builds that I can't wait to try. There is so much stuff in this mod, there's no way I would have the time or the space to show it all to you. So. I just suggest downloading it to see for yourself. As of the making of this video, this mod is still a work in progress and new items are added every day, so be sure to install updates often so you don't miss out. There are things included here that I didn't even know I wanted, and now that I have them, I wonder how I ever managed without. This mod definitely has a permanent place in my load order. The last mod in today's spotlight is quite a well-known one, and one I am very happy to see come to PS4. That is OC Decorator by Ethreon. The mod that lets you build junk items in workshop mode. How it works is, if you've got the item in your inventory, or in your settlement workshop, then this mod lets you build it from a new menu subcategory. And there are even sub subcategories. This mod is quite organized and cross-referenced, and it's quite easy to navigate. Once you build a junk item, it's stuck in place, just like anything else you'd normally build with the workshop. The items will not budge, no matter what you do to them. You could even explode a grenade on them, and they will remain exactly where you put them. The collision of each item is very forgiving, much more so than building or furniture pieces, which I was very happy to see, since before installing the mod, I feared I wouldn't be able to place items very close together. Not only can I do that, I can even place items on top of each other. That is not something you can do by just grabbing a piece of junk with the build menu and trying to place it near something else. That had always been a nightmare, so this is a definite improvement. With this mod, you can finally go to town decorating your entire settlement and not have to worry about it all being on the ground when you return home next time. You also won't have to worry about settlers knocking things over, or a raider attack and a well-aimed molotov sending everything into next Tuesday. This mod is so valuable, and a huge thank you to Ethreon for porting it over to PS4. We appreciate you. Well, that's all the time we have left for today, ladies and gentlemen. I will end this video with a few screenshots that I've taken. If you would like to see one of your own screenshots featured at the end of the next video, feel free to send me one in a private message on Facebook. The link is in the description. Be sure to include a short title for your screenshot and your name, how you wish it to appear in the video. Remember to follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook for game news and channel updates. And until next time, everyone, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. See ya.